Welcome to Performance Rowing Basic Series. In this video, we're going to be looking at the sculling grip. I've brought with me a bit of a prop today. I've got a croaker handle from a croaker awl, and it's got a croaker grip. Uh, this isn't a promo for croaker, I promise. So, when we look at the handle, uh, you'll either have two types of grips. You'll have flat grips, or you have grips like this one that have a bit of a valley and ridge, valley, ridge, valley, ridge, which is somewhere for you to put your fingers. Now, one of the common mistakes we see with beginners in rowing is they'll put their index finger roughly where the second valley is, and then each finger will go down, and they'll have a lot of handle sticking out at the end. And this causes a couple of problems. One, it's really hard to control the handle well, your thumb has no control, and you're also reducing the leverage. So if you don't have a good lever, you're not gonna row as fast, you're not gonna be as efficient. So it's really important, we put our index finger on the end of the handle. In the croaker it's easy, it's on this side of the ridge, and with a flat handle it's in exactly the same position. And then each finger goes into each ridge thereafter. When you've got it right, you can see there's just a tiny bit of handle sticking out of the end, and your thumb will sit in a really relaxed position just on the end of the handle. That's the basics of how to hold the handle up and down. So the next thing we need to think about is how do we hold the handle during the power phase or the dry phase of the rowing stroke? Shuffle around a little bit. So if we're in the right position, our hand is really relaxed. So the idea is to allow our legs to push really hard and to transfer the power through to the handle. So to do that, this is the position we need to be in. So what am I thinking about when I'm in this position? First of all, I want to make sure that the handle is sitting inside my fist. Okay, I know I've done this right when I have a nice 90 degree position between the front of my finger and the top of my hand. So if I was to take the handle out, it just sits in a really relaxed position. So as though I'm in the gym holding a bar or something like that, or I'm trying to pick up a big weight, I'm just curling my fingers and I'm in a nice strong position. And then my handle sits in nice and comfortably in the fist. When I've got this right, I have that 90 degrees and you'll see my knuckles, my wrist and my elbow are all nicely in line. When I do that, I can transfer power effectively. My leg drive during that nice long hang at the front of the stroke will transfer really effectively, easily. There'll be no muscular tension. I'm just hanging really simply. Some of the common mistakes we see are that people will cock their wrists. They'll either over rotate or they'll cock the wrist this way. In both these positions, if you're pushing hard through your legs, you're gonna find it really hard to hold the handle. Your forearms are gonna tense up. It's gonna burn up. It's gonna be very uncomfortable. You're gonna fatigue quickly. It's all bad. We want to be in a nice, relaxed, straight position where we can hang really, really effectively. Another common mistake we see is people are trying to create more space for themselves through the hands away position, and they'll end up with their fingers in this position, and the handle's right on the tips of the fingers during the dry phase. And when they do this, it gets them into all sorts of bother, because when we get to the finish, we're gonna run out of space. I'll talk about that in a minute. So we're in a nice, strong position. We've taken our drive and we've sat back and now we're drawing into the finish and we end up in this sort of position. Our aim here is to maintain this nice flat wrist position. So as we get to the finish, we go to tap out, we keep the flat, flat wrist and our hand taps down, our elbow stays still and we take the blade out of the water. If we're still in the fist, it becomes easy to then roll into the fingers and our blade will feather nice and comfortably. So we tap, keeping the wrist flat, tap, feather, rolling from the fist to the fingers fist to the fingers. If we do that, we'll be in a nice, good, strong position on the way forward. Now, you remember earlier I talked about holding it in the fingers? If we're already in the fingers in the dry phase and we get to this position in the finish, we can't tap out or else we're just gonna end up feathering out of our fingers and we're gonna lose all control. The only way we can feather then is by cocking our wrist. And again, that puts us into a really poor position as far as controlling the blade is concerned. So, nice and flat, nice and controlled, draw in, Tap with a flat wrist, that's the basics of the sculling grip.